Hi everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Pali. Today we are going to be showing you how to make roasted zucchini squash. Cue the music. Alright, well thanks a lot for joining. If this is your first time being with us, please do me a favor, go down and hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload new content. Alright, also do me a favor and go down and hit the description box, check it out. There is not only the recipe for this video, but also a ton of groovy links. We all know that time of year when you got zucchini coming out of your ears, uh, your neighbors have got it, your family's giving it to you, you got bushels of it coming to your door every day in the fall and you just don't know what to do with it. You can make zucchini bread and zucchini dumplings and zucchini, zucchini, zucchini. Um, that's when you get on the internet and look for people like me to help you out. So this is a recipe for some great roasted zucchini as a side dish or as a main meal, whatever you want to do with it. Take a look. All right, like I said, we're going to be making roasted zucchini squash. So let's head down here and see what our ingredients are for this. We have got one zucchini, one yellow squash, a half of an onion, two small sweet peppers, two teaspoons of fresh minced garlic, quarter cup of olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and some salt and pepper to taste. We got some prep to do, so we're gonna start doing that. All right, our prep today is gonna be the two zucchini, the peppers, and the onions. So I'm just gonna chop off the tips of these. Always wash your produce as well before you start, which I have. I take my zucchini and I'm just going to cut it into half medallions. Same with the yellow zucchini or yellow squash. Now we got the onion. I'm just going to cut this into thin julienne slices. Then I got our peppers. I've got I got a, actually a whole bag of these. I keep them as props for our, for when I do photo shoots. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut them any old way you want. You're just basically throwing these in for just a little bit of flavor, but also a lot of color, which you will see when we get this panned up on the sheet tray. But, all right, I'm gonna switch into a bigger bowl so we can mix this up better. I misjudged. All right, then we got our ingredients here. We've got our dry Italian herbs. Italian seasoning, as I should say, our fresh garlic, and then our olive oil. Throw that all in there. Gently toss this so we get it all mixed up. A little salt and pepper. Keep tossing it a little bit just to get everything mixed up really well. I am just going to throw this whole mixture onto the sheet tray in one layer. Then I'm going to throw this into a 450 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll come back and see what it looks like when it's done. All right, well there you go. These are um, cooked pretty good. They're about 13 minutes in the oven, 450. You want to get a little bit of color on the on the zucchini. You want the onions to be tran translucent and soft as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bowl these up and we'll take some really groovy pictures of them for social media. Come back and talk about them some more. Beautiful photos, very beautiful color on this uh, side of vegetables, if you want to call it that. Zucchini, roasted zucchini with onions, Italian herbs, peppers. Here's the taste test. Mm. 
cook perfectly. The flavor explodes the minute it hits the palate. The color is beautiful. The flavor, the, the texture, the aroma, everything about this dish is fantastic. So this is a fantastic recipe. It is a side dish. It's a main course. You can serve it with chicken in there if you want. Fish, whatever you want to do with this. I would highly recommend this when you've got bushels of zucchini sitting on your kitchen counter because your neighbors are generous. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out that description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already, and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time, right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.